welcome if you're new to this channel give your brother a like subscribe to be part of the online family and hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a video now you are here to solve simultaneous equations to learn how to solve simultaneous equations and I'm here to show you right now so let's get into it now on the screen here we have a pair of simultaneous equations that we also call the system of equations so let us identify our equations by writing equation 1 and the second equation of course is equation 2 so using the elimination method our aim is to eliminate temporarily one of the unknowns in order to find the other so we look at the coefficients of x and y to see if the coefficients are the same so for the coefficients for x in equation 1 it is 2 the coefficient of x in equation 2 it is 1 so they are not the same so let us examine y we see the coefficient of y here is minus 1 coefficient of y is 1 so we can eliminate y but whenever the signs are unlike we simply add their two equations whenever the signs are the same we subtract as we will see in another example so we add equations 1 to 2 so this is what we will do adding it we have 2x plus x finish with that we move on to our y so we have minus y plus y is equal to 5 plus 4 so let us simplify what we have here now 2x plus x will give us 3x hmm what is next minus y plus y will result in zero so here we are eliminating y so we have 3x equal to 9 because 5 plus 4 equal to 9 what is my next step now students viewers I would like you to look at the simultaneous equations look at the pair of simultaneous equations that we have there and try not to memorize anything what we have here the next thing we do is to get rid of our intruder here the intruder is 3 we don't need 3 because we want to find the value of x and that is why we are solving the simultaneous equation in the first place so we see that this number is multiplied by the x so in order to get rid of this 3 we simply divide by 3 but because we have an equation we don't want to touch one side and leave the other side because the other side is jealous whatever is done to one side must be done to the other side also so we divide by 3 so 3 divided by 3 will give me 1 and we know 1 multiplied by x will give me x so I have x is equal to 9 divided by 3 will give me 3 but what is next here we have found the value of x to be 3 so x has a new name 3 wherever we see x we write 3 so I will substitute x equal to 3 into one of the equations that we have here so we look for the easy one so we choose equation 2 both of, both of the equations that we have there are easy but we try to make things good for us so we see x plus y equal to 4 is easy to work around so what we do in the space we first write x plus y equal to 4 
and in the space of x I will call him by his new name 3 and then we write what is left plus y is equal to 4 what do we have here we have 3 plus y is equal to 4 but I would like to find the value of y but we have an intruder the intruder here is 3 so in order to get rid a common thing that students do right and, and and I understand students would see this in order to, to, to understand this better right but I, I understand what you do and it's, it's totally is okay but the right thing is to subtract 3 on both sides of the equations. The examiner wants you to state what you're doing. This number 3 is not an athlete that is jumping over anywhere. So in order to get rid of this 3, I simply reduce it to 0. But how do you reduce that to 0? But that is what I will tell you now. So we add the additive inverse of 3 to itself in order to make it 0. But what is additive inverse? The additive inverse is the opposite of this positive 3 we have here. This is a positive 3 and this additive inverse is minus 3. Or we can say we subtract 3 on both sides of the equation. So what we have here 3 minus 3 will go y is equal to 1 so therefore x equal to 3 and y equal to 1 let us do another example so here we have 6x plus 8y equal to 50. Hmm. 6x plus 4y equal to 34. So let us label our equations. This is equation 1 and we have equation 2. What we do next? We'll examine the coefficients of x and y to ensure that they are the same. And if they're not the same, then we have to make them the same. And in another video, I will show you what to do. So here we see that 6 and 6, they are the same. The signs are the same. When the signs are the same, we subtract the two equations. For the first example here, the signs are unlike so we add the two equations so here we subtract the two equations so we see equation 1 minus equation 2 so equation 1 6x minus 6x for the y that we have here 8y minus 4y is equal top subtract bottom 1 minus 2 so we have 50 minus 34 so 6x minus 6x will be reduced to 0 boom so here we have 8y minus 4y will give me 4y 8 yams take 4 yams will give me 4 yams equal to 50 subtract 34 will give me 16. Who is the intruder here now? I see the intruder to be 4. Okay, so you identify 4 as the intruder because you want to find the value of y. So, what? how do we get rid of 4? If I am not multiplying, I am dividing. So we see that this number 4 is multiplied to the y. So if I'm not multiplying, I am dividing. And like I said before, we divide on both sides of the equation. So 4 
will be divided by 4. So we have y remaining. y is equal to 4. y has a new name. Wherever we see y, we have to call him by his name 4. So we will substitute y equal to 4 into one of the equations, equation 1 or 2. So let's choose equation 1. So we have 6x plus 8y is equal to 50. So we're substituting, we're seeing y here, and we have to call him by his name 4. And we rewrite everything else that we have. So we have 6x plus 8. Boom! Bang! Y is 4. Mm -hmm. So y is smiling because you're calling by his new name. Equal to 50. So we have 6x plus 32 equal to 50. Again, we have positive 32. We have two intruders here. We have 32 and we have 6. We want x to stand alone. We want to make x the subject. So we get rid of 32. Again, this number 32 is not sprinting anywhere. It's not jumping over the equal sign. So I simply write the opposite of this in order to reduce this to 0. So the additive inverse of 32 is simply the opposite of positive 32, which is minus 32. So I write minus 32. What I do on one side, I must do on the other side. Boom, bang, bing. So we have 32 plus 32 minus 32 will result in 0. We have 6x is equal to 18. 50 minus 32. Again, this number is in through the 6. We want to eliminate 6. So I get rid of 6 by dividing by 6 on both sides of the equation, of course. So 6 into 6 will go. And here we have x equal to 3. So therefore, therefore, x equal to 3 and y equal to Four. And that is how easy simultaneous equation is. The next video we will focus on the substitution method as well as two other methods. Now if you're new here, give your brother a like. If you like this content, join the online family by subscribing and hit that notification bell. Remember, this subject is very easy. It is very beautiful. Students of the Caribbean community who are setting this wonderful subject this year, 2021, just believe in yourself. Keep pushing. Work hard. Put on the pair of boxing gloves and just punch this subject in the corner. And you will succeed. So until the next video, this is George from the George's Math Lab. See you.